going on YouTube? I hope everybody's doing absolutely fantastic. It's Sunday, Sunday the 21st of May, 2023. I'm not gonna lie, I am starting to get old. Uh, went out Friday night, drank a bottle of Jack Daniels, and I've been hungover ever since, and that's the God's honest truth. I'm not trying to be funny. In fact, if you come over here, we got, well, we got Trulies, ignore that. But we do have uh, Pedialyte, oh, eggs, and Pedialyte ice pops to try to get my hydration up. My kidneys actually hurt, my hamstrings are locking up. My sergeant hit me up today and said, hey, you wanna go, you wanna go lift, you wanna go bench? I was like, fuck, no. That being said, it is time to do some snake shit, all right? We did cut that stranger clutch, we showed off that the pickups we had uh, a couple weeks ago of all those animals, and we also cut the stranger clutch on our Patreon little whoop, right there. Anyway, um, we'll show that off once they shut out. But yeah, shameless plug, head over to the Patreon. All right, we're getting bigger, we're growing nicely. A lot of nice animals in there. People are picking up strangers on discounted rates. Uh, but with that being said, guys, uh, a lot going, in here, going on in here today. We are getting things set up. We have got our ARS uh, displays ready to go. So we order a nice banner for that show on June 24th. But more importantly, guys, we answered the question. Um, do you guys remember, obviously, this is another stranger clutch we'll be pulling today, guys, uh, to a female we actually produced. We answered a few questions here, okay? Uh, the first question was, is our stranger boy ever going to fucking make eggs and make hay snakes? Or maybe get strangers. There's a couple strangers over there in that tub. But uh, more importantly, we paired him to a female we produced. If you remember, we produced a pastel spot nose clown. Uh, the clutch was late April of 2021. I was actually in Mexico on vacation. Sal from Gomez Pythons came through, came through, FaceTimed me, and pulled that clutch. And then around June, uh, we hashed out that clutch. We had, I think it was, we had a pastel Batman, a pastel leopard clown, and then a pastel spot nose clown, if I remember correctly. That was, of course, the pairing that was our killer leopard clown. Killer leopard clown right there was deep in shed. Uh, she's being paired to a DG Butter Spot Nose and she, uh, our, our Desert Ghost DG, a Desert Ghost and she Spot Nose Butter Male makes some nice double heads. But she was paired to our Spot Nose uh, Leopard Het Clown that we picked up from Joe, actually passed away on us. So we're actually very happy we still have this snake. The reason why we still have this snake is we actually sold it to, uh, to an individual down south. He's a drill sergeant in the army. I hope it's Army, not Marines. I believe it's Army. Um, and we bought it back. We bought it back along with our cinnamon pie girl right here who's going to lay another clutch for us. She produced all shark mouth babies last year, which sucked. But this year we paired her to our, spa our, our pastel banana and she uh, pied. So we'll see what happens with that. But with that being said, we got our pastel spot nose clown back at about 800 grams. Um, and then at around December of 2022, so she was at that point about... 18 months old she was 18 a year and a half old guys and she was starting to grow follicles i have my my list over here i'll show you i document this shit out of everything like a child like a little kid with a tracker keeper <laughs> let's see 11 11 millimeter follicles on december 30th okay we actually did pair her originally on december 16th and then she was reading 11 follicle 11 millimeter follicles uh, 11 millimeter follicles at 18 months old, and she was, I believe, about 15 to 1600 grams, right? 14 to 1600, around there, somewhere. Started pairing her. Guess what? Today, we answer that question. How old does a snake have to be to produce eggs? How young is too young? Okay? So right there, it looks like off the rip, we got six beautiful eggs. We're going to pull that clutch. We're going to take a look at it. We're not going to count our chickens, all right, guys? We're not going to say, hey, listen, we got six beautiful eggs from an 18-month-old female. Well, we started pairing her up at 18 months old, right? She's under, she's right now about 23 months old with eggs on the ground, all right? That being said, age-old question, too, we have this girl right here who is our pastel enchi. Oh, my God. That's what we're spotting today. This is our pastel enchi pie girl we produced, right? That, that paradoxing slash whatever. Um, this is actually from the female that passed away on us also. Um... She was born about two months after, okay? So we caught her. She was out of the egg on August of 2021. So only a two-month difference between the two. But here's the difference. One's not growing follicles and one's sitting on fucking eggs, all right? So that is a big deal. That's one full season out of that animal. So back to the question, feeding habits, 
uh, genetics, what have you. We'll talk about that in another video. But at the end of the day, we are sitting on six eggs from a, a, an animal that's like, started getting paired at 18 months old. But let's pull that clutch. Let's make sure they have veins. Let me get my tripod set up. It's an absolutely gorgeous day out today, guys. Looking good. Shelby's chillaxing. Look at her. What are you doing, Mama Bear? My sweet girl. My soulmate. Right? Got a gazebo set up. We're doing good. And you got this big ding dong. We're walking around the house. Yeah. All right. So let's pull. By the way, do you know where flip flops with socks and diesel drool and chewed on? You're not a man. All right. Let's pull some clutches. Let's check these out. Let's get our flashlight ready. And let's find out if at 18 months old, do we start pairing our female and do we get eggs? Look how beautiful she is, guys. That is a beautiful, beautiful sight right there. A self-produced pastel spot nose clown that we originally sent off and sold, regretted it, bought it back, and at 18 months old, started pairing her up. We have six beautiful eggs sitting right there. Let's pull them, let's check them out, and let's see if they're viable, and let's see if we can finally, oh, you know, oh, what's up, big girl, you noticed. You noticed your tub's out? <laughs> All right. Relax. Like, like Michelle when I wake her up too early. Anyway, let's see if we finally get a chance of hitting a nice stranger Batman. All right? That'd be pretty fucking sick, guys. Let's get this thing set up with my handy-dandy tripod. Look at this. Look at this. Woo. I'm a mess. Woo. Don't care. Diesel doesn't care. All right, honey. I'm taking your shit. All right. We are rolling, guys. So let's see what Big Mama's doing here. Well, it's not quite Big Mama, right? Big Mama should be dropping a clutch any day for us now, though. So we'll just give a little whoop. I know, I know. Grab her, find the end of that tail there. She did an absolute fantastic job. Nobody really rolled. She looks empty to me, guys. Nice and empty. Nice and sunken in. So we're putting her over here. We're gonna clean her out. Put her right here on the tub. Not bad right there, guys. So let's pull them real quick. See what we got. This one kind of rolled a little bit, I believe. So I'm going to go like this. We're going to put it right there. They look pretty good. They look freshly laid. Anytime I see, like, kind of like just the coloration here, I think they kind of just came out. They're, they're all starting to calcify. Is that a word? I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. Let me move this over before I flip this over and get pissed. It's okay if I drop an egg season two, but season four with these eggs. Can't be doing that shit, all right? Coming, across, coming apart very nicely. Now, mind you, she was due. She was due, I think, uh, the 16th. So she's five days overdue, guys. Five days. Today's the 21st. So, yeah, 5, 23, 16, 5. So not bad at all. Um, kind of got a little concerned. Let me turn these lights off. Kind of got a little concerned originally just because we weren't sure what the deal was. I got concerned maybe she's getting egg bound she's a little younger, a little smaller, even though she laid them. She's probably about 1,800 grams at that point. Let's check it. This is the, the question though, right guys? We can talk about these eggs. We can be excited about these eggs, but there's no veins in these eggs. And who gives a shit, okay? So please be eggs. Please be veins. All right, there we go. Look at that. Embryo right there. You guys see it? Perfect. That's one for one. Woo. Right there. You see it? See it moving around? You guys see it? I always say it looks like Lord of the Rings, man. I always say that. Right there. Right there. That's three for three, guys. Three beautiful eggs so far. Three beautiful eggs so far. Four beautiful eggs so far on an 18-month-old female. Is that right there? Right there. Perfect. Put that down. Oh, we'll double check that one. Right there. Perfect. See, the good thing is they're all loose, so the, the embryo should. Uh, it's right there. Perfect. All right, not bad. Let me turn these lights on, but not bad at all, guys. Not bad. Looks like there's six or six on good eggs. Let's do this. Woo! Turn that on. Throw that down. Gently take this out. Let's see. Am I going to turn it off? I do that? No? No? We're good? We're good? Ready? We'll go like this. We'll snap you guys in here. I think we're still rolling. I think we're good. We're rolling? We're rolling. Hey, that wasn't bad. How's that transition? A little bit better? Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so guys, listen. Not bad. All right, not bad at all. Six good eggs. Six eggs with beautiful veins. By the way, that one pastel clown pie egg that had no veins, 
I kept it in there, and it's, it's, it's the, it hasn't hardened up on me yet. So maybe it's developed veins. I haven't checked in a couple weeks, so I don't know. Fingers crossed on that one. But in this clutch right here, guys, we have a female that we produced again. June 2021, we hatched this girl out, sent her off, got her back. Actually got her back about 600 grams, now that I'm thinking about it. Raised her up, fed her. She never missed a meal. She's an absolute gavoon, okay? She ate like a son of a bitch. Every week, nonstop, even in shed. Uh, got to 15, 1600 grams, ultrasounded her at 18 months old. Well, paired her up just, just to see if he would lock with her. Um, he did lock with her right away, put him at the uh, stranger leopard clown. And then at that point, we ultrasounded her at you know the end of the year. So December, December 30th, 2022, we ultrasounded her. She had 11 millimeter follicles. You know, there are four locks in there with her at an 18 month old female at that point, okay? And at the end of the day, guys, at 23 months old, she produced six beautiful eggs. So again, it's kind of one of those things. You got a good, you got a, that, that's why the ultrasound's so important, right? If I didn't have that ultrasound, I'd be like, oh, she's 1,500 grams, she's young, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pair her up. But she's grown follicles, so I paired her up, guys. And you know what? She's healthy as can be, and we're gonna get her right back on food, we're gonna clean out her tub, get her back on food, and we're gonna put these eggs in the incubator. And at the end of the day, at 18 months old, we started pairing her up, and we have six beautiful eggs at under two years old for that female. And just for comparison, that past that you pod we showed you before, she, is about the same age, two months younger, and we're not even close to pairing her up yet, right? She's growing nothing. Five millimeter follicles, which is pretty much just a dormant follicle they have in their body to begin with. But, not bad, guys. So, get your ultrasounds, keep track of your animals, and you might get a full season ahead on one of your females, all right, guys? So, that's kind of really interesting um, that that happened. So, I'm pretty happy with that. So, 1,500, you know, some people are like 1,800 grams and three years old. I mean, that guy, female, as healthy as can be. Under two years old, six beautiful eggs, started getting paired at 18 months old. All right, guys, so at the end of the day, our stranger leopard clown is doing his goddamn thing. He is doing his thing, all right? Eating like a son of a bitch, producing babies, all right? Third clutch in the books from our stranger leopard clown after the saga that was the fucking stranger leopard clown. All right, guys, listen, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to head over to Patreon content now, start filming some stuff for them. Um, check us out. All right. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be safe. Watch six.